So, uh, good day. So, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about the calculation related to the geometrical structure factor. Well, first of all, I will start the calculation related to the simple cubic structure or simple cubic unit cell. Then uh, we will see what type of XRD pattern can be there because you know uh, the geometrical structure factor decide the square of that is uh, can give us the XRD uh, peak or XRD intensity peak. So once we can estimate which type of which are non-zero geometrical structure factor, so those uh, things uh, can give us the uh, existence of the XRD peaks. So let us start then for simple cubic system. You see, <coughs> for simple cubic system, the number of atom per unit cell uh, is uh, 1 ok so let this uh, will uh, let us assume that this uh, this uh, atom is in at the origin so now you can see x, x j y j and j j all of them are 0 now you remember this expression for the structural factor this is the expression for structural factor this is uh, summation over uh, 1 to m where m is the number of atoms uh, now you see m is 1 in our case this is this is actually m now so m is equal to 1 so we will uh, put the expression for only one atom and for that atom the atomic positions is here at uh, 0 0 0 so if at all if i put 0 0 0 here so this whole factor become 1 only okay so this is the value for s now you see you know for the form uh, geometrical structure factor is, uh, is equal to the product of f and f where f is the uh, atomic form factor form factor this i had already shown in my last session so now so this uh, because uh, f uh, for for the atom uh, this is f and s is one for our case then their product is uh, f only so now what is the intensity then this will be proportional to uh, or uh, let's say proportional to constant i have taken one so i k h will be uh, e is will be proportional to your form factor only uh, sorry geometrical uh, structure factor only and uh, as you we have shown that this geometrical form factor is equal to the atomic factor because of presence of only one atom so you can say ihkl should be equal to f square okay so that means th uh, whatever the hkl you take uh, hkl uh, i told you earlier hkl is the miller indices of a given plane miller indices okay now whatever the hkl you take s will come one and we will have uh, H, uh, f hkl is equal to small f that means for all possible value of hkl there will be some non-zero value of intensity this is so the conclusion is that for the simple cubic stocks unit cell the xrd peak for all plane can exist so please uh, remember this point this will be highly useful for our crystal structure analysis now one of the example uh, that i can give you which shows the simple cubic structure um, is polonium okay uh, this is uh, the only uh, natural uh, crystal that is known which uh, exists in simple cubic system okay some of the uh, artificially prepared material like strontium titanate uh, can also give the simple cubic structures now here i can tell you that you see this for the simple cubic system the packing density is very less also the coordination number is also less therefore and in in the solid mostly you need more dense structures okay so this is because simple cubic do not give most uh, the highest density so therefore uh, almost uh, or very rarely any material exists in the uh, in the in uh, in our earth surface that can solve 
simple key based structure. So that's why I told you the only known uh, material is polonium. Okay, and strontium uh, oxide is a, a composite material uh, or a, a compound material that can be uh, prepared from strontium oxide and uh, titanium oxide. Okay, so that this type of uh, composition. If you uh, add them by a, a particular processing called solid state um, reaction, then we can give, we can get this uh, this, mat uh, this material. Okay. So let us then. Uh, so this uh, this may be coming uh, uh, in uh, in my photograph. So I can write down some oxide plus titanium dioxide. And uh, the reaction is called a solid state reaction. Reaction. So that can give us strontium, titanium ox oxide. This material can give the simple cubic type of exotic peaks, where all the possible peaks can be there. Later, I'll discuss in detail about this material. Okay, about this material. Okay. So now we will go for the uh, body centered cubic system. So you know in the body uh, centered cubic system there are two atoms. Okay, mm, This is quite uh, known to us. So I have mentioned here the number of atoms for the uh, uh, instead of writing system maybe we can say unit cell is equal to 2. Okay. Now we can, uh, like previous, we can uh, assume the uh, position of the first atom as origin, that means 0, 0, 0. Where the position of the second atom, so here maybe I can write on x2, y2, sorry, y2, and z2. This is equal to, uh, it's uh, exact at the uh, center of the body, so its coordinate can be half, half, half. Okay, this is the coordinate of the second atomic position. Now, if we now go for the structure factor calculation, yes, then uh, this will go from J to uh, M and uh, M is equal to 2 here. This is the M. So, for first case, uh, when you put, so this summation uh, will give us two terms. Okay, the first term will be obviously 1 because uh, you are putting uh, the x1, y1, z1 at 0, 0, 0. And uh, for the second one, uh, if I put here uh, half, 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 here half, here half, here half, then this you can take half common and this half will be cancelled with 2 here. Then we will uh, get exponential pi, this 2 will be cancelled pi i, then hk, h plus k plus l. So this is the overall expression for structure factor. 1 plus exponential pi i uh, h plus k plus l. Now let us uh, see uh, the different cases. Probably you know uh, exponential i uh, m pi is equal to 1 for m is equal to even. And this is equal to 0 for m is equal to this is for even, this is for odd. Okay, so now, we, so I have taken consideration to this uh, HKL, or HKL are the, you know, Miller indices, which are the integers, so they are, summation can give us integer also. So now, uh, this uh, summation can be even or odd. Let me take the case of even. Now, as I told you, when uh, this is even, this uh, exponential factor can give us 1. So, uh, so, our S factor will be this one plus the exponential factor also one. So, it is giving us two. Okay. Now, what is the uh, then uh, geometrical structure factor? This is this will be equal to F into S, where F into S is equal to two. So, this will give us two, two F. Okay. So, then what will be the intensity then? Intensity, uh, XRD peak intensity will be uh, if you take proportionality constant 1, then it will be given f square. So, this will go for f square 
uh, sorry, 2f whole square, that means 4f square. So now you can see uh, <coughs> the, the exotic peak will be existing for h k l is equal to 1. Okay. Now uh, this is being mentioned here because it is a non zero value. This is a non zero root value because the f is a atomic uh, form factor. So it will have always a non zero value for a given at uh, for the atoms. So for x square will be a non zero value. That means for h plus k plus uh, l is equal to even, we will have non zero value of the peak, uh, xi peak, and that means those peaks can exist. So that has been mentioned here. For BCC, the XRD peaks for those plane can exist for which H plus K plus L is equal to EV. I have given taken some example. Uh, some of the examples are 1, 1, 0. Now you add H is 1 here, K is 1 and L is 0. So you add them, it is giving us 2. So this is, this can give us a peak. Similarly, two zero zero, their addition also a even number. So this can also give us the XRD peak. Okay. So uh, similarly, two one one, two two zero, two zero two two, three one zero. All of them can give us a peak for the BCC structures. Okay. Uh, sorry, so this one for this is minus one. Sorry, this is minus one for uh, odd. This you can easily see just putting the exponential thing. Now, for the odd case, then let us see. Uh, for the odd case, you see s is equal to uh, one, then the exponential, uh, exponential factor become minus one. So one minus one is equal to zero. So now what is what about this geometric uh, uh, structure factor then? So f into zero. So this are give us zero. That means for all the uh, planes who, who, who's uh, h plus k plus l is equal to odd, for that the f is zero. That means your your uh, xrd peak intensity is zero. So that has been mentioned here in the red letter. You can see. For the BCC, the extra peaks for those planes cannot exist for which H plus K plus L is equal to all. I have taken some example here. Let's say 1, 0, 0. Oh, okay. Now, they are uh, summation is 1. So, it, ca it cannot exist because they are summation is a odd number. Similarly, uh, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, and 0, uh, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3. Okay, all of them, uh, their summation is uh, odd number. Therefore, uh, this type of peak will not be there. Okay, now one so sim simple question can come. Uh, let's say for the given material, the XID peaks are found to be for all possible, for, for all possible peaks. Okay, so whether it can be BCC, your answer will be no, because for BCC, certain th uh, things are prohibited. Some certain planes are prohibited or not uh, cannot appear. Okay, and it's because you see, uh, <coughs> it's because uh, mm, what happened uh, when you go for BCC structures some additional plane comes. Now you see I am doing the BCC structure here. Okay. Now when you, you go for uh, additional uh, atoms here, so another additional plane can be existing here. This. Okay. All the uh, atoms staying in the body centered can give us a insertion of plane. This is called as insertion, insertion of additional plane. What happened? Obviously, if I ask you what is the Miller indices for this, this will be 200. Zero, zero. Okay. Where this, this, this one, you know, this is 100, zero, zero, that we know. 
what happened because of this presence of 2 0 0 and uh, when x-ray come and reflect uh, the x-ray reflection from the, uh, the when it is coming and reflecting and when it is coming and reflecting now the uh, the, uh, the x-ray reflected from this plane and this plane will be out of phase out of phase okay so when they superpose they give us destructive interference or superposition therefore the, the xrd peak related to 100 cannot exist okay this is the plain and simple explanation in terms of physics and in terms of mathematics you see that is also being proved that for 100 it cannot be there and similarly case for others okay so question may uh, be asked uh, what happen you add uh, additional planes or uh, what happen uh, in uh, why some of the peaks do not appear in BCC structures the answer is the because of the presence of the extra uh, additional plane in the unit cell uh, the reflection may not be always constructive there can be destructive interference uh, superposition also the, and that the uh, destructive superpositions can eliminate some of the planes whereas it, uh, in this case you see for body center uh, uh, sorry for simple cubic for simple cubic all planes can exist that means the uh, uh, x-ray scattered from each and every plane are in phase okay therefore for all possible planes there can be uh, there can be um, extra peaks for uh, so simple cubic which has been mentioned in the last underlying point okay whereas for bcc please remember uh, <coughs> oh, it will exist for those value of hkl whose uh, addition of those indices is even whereas when uh, when the addition is uh, odd then for those type of planes the mm, the srd peak will not exist so with this then we will end and uh, to test this actually estimation and other things I will put some questions uh, uh, in addition to this uh, video. So uh, there are uh, some multiple uh, type of questions I will add and you have to answer them from your mobile phone. Okay. So that will to check your uh, understanding okay. and your attention also. Okay, well, and also to verify whether you have seen the video or not. With this slide, I'd like to end this session. Thank you.